Boom! Welcome to episode 26 of the Korg Microcast Podcast, the world's number one Korg podcast on the internet. I'm Adam Whittle, joined as always with Andy Pullen. Hello. And the demigod himself, Luke Edwards. Hello. Uh, why episode 26, do you say, and not episode 25? Turn me down, Andy, I'm too loud, apparently. <laughs> That's for sure. Not too much, though. I like to be booming. So, we've skipped episode 25 for a very good reason. 25, we're going to do a special 25th episode, um, and you'll see why when we do it. It's a surprise. It's a surprise, so mm. we'll keep uh, watching out for that. We've not seen you for a while, because we've all been on holiday uh, and things, so we're going to do a point five tonight point five. from the lovely uh, Seacroft Hemsby Holiday Village, where we're at the uh, world-famous keyboard festival, celebrating its 100th year. Is it really its hundred? Yeah, yeah, okay. Apparently, it's something wow. to do is with hundred. Festivals a hundred a year or something, uh, or is, is it? it hundred festivals they've done. I don't know. Yeah. Something to do with a hundred anyway. Yeah. Wow. So here we are, episode twenty-six. Good amount of detail there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something to do with a hundred. Uh, yeah. Lots to talk about. We've got loads of new. We've got a new game, Andy. Andy doesn't know what the new game is yet. It's but a last year we had the name game. Yeah. Okay. It's taken us a while. Which? Who won the name game? Uh, was it you? Uh, yes, it was. You're <laughs> right. Yeah, I remember. You, now I remember. Yes, All that you. means is you've yeah. got a more popular name, Andy. It's nothing to be proud of. It's common. Um, so we're going to um, <laughs> do a new game. Okay. So I'm very excited to Who, share so, it with so you. Have you made this game? This is this is. You'll see. You well, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I've got my answers in front of me that Luke's probably just been swatting up on. <laughs> so I'll, I'll come to that I'll in a minute. <laughs> so let's start with some news. News. We've got a jingle. News. Let's get a jingle on the go. Here we go. News. So, lots to talk about. Because we've got new stuff. I love it when there's new, new stuff. stuff. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, so, this new stuff was announced this week. I've not seen it yet because I was on a holiday last week, so you guys have uh, had been up close and personal with these new products, so we tell us indeed. what they are. So what we've have we got? got? We've got the new Nanos, first of all. So the, we've new got Nanos? New Nanos. It's in, a, the, uh, in the Jamaican flag yes. and the Swedish flag. <laughs> Very uh, specialish in colours. You know, yeah, as, so as orange, like orange, orange green and yellow, and blue and yellow. They look really good, and I, I have to say the, the advantage of them being that you can, it sounds like an obvious thing, but you can identify where all the controllers yeah. are nice. It's, and they, they look really good in person. They're very, yeah. very cool. Do you so. know what the story behind the colours is? No. Okay, so the blue, the blue, the one with the blue colours is supposed to kind of tie in with our gadget. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And the yeah. one with the kind of multicoloured Jamaican style, as you call it, yep. colours, is more like an Ableton kind of... Ah, of. right. So yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thinking behind it. But obviously, anyone can use them with any programme. Ah, right. So you work. don't have to be Swedish. You don't have to be. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> it's just it's just much more beneficial if you're... No, 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 no that makes perfect sense. That, yeah. You know, you get that satisfaction of that, you know. <laughs> and I think that if you're buying the Nano at the moment, there's there's a like a 20% discount on gadget at the moment as well, so... Please check go. that, see how current that is when nice. this is launched. But yeah, that's, yeah. I saw that. That's it's that. very, very cool. So, so new Nano colours. Uh, what else have we got? Should well, we just explain what they are, actually, the Nanos? That makes sense, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> if no one knows. <laughs> so there's three different Nanos. Uh, there's a Nano Pad yep. 2, there's the Nano Control 2, and there's mm-hmm. the Nano Key 2. So the Nano Pad has a load of pads on it and a Chaos Pad on it. And the Nano Control has a load of sliders and knobs yep. for using with your DOW. And the Nano Key, let me guess, has... Um, Keys on it. It's got keys. There we go. Where you keep your keys. Amazing. And That's I think the, um, the big books. yeah, the Nano Pad with the XY controller is about the cheapest way you can get the XY controller for any Ableton stuff as well. So. Yeah, it's really cool. Very, very so, cool. And obviously, it has all the maps built in for all the different DAWs. There so, we go. Yeah, and very affordable. So those are available now. They are, they are available now, I believe. Yes. Yep. Yep. So There we go. So they're brand new. So what have we got? What else have we got? We've got an EK50. The EK50. Mm. Yeah. So this is a brand new, um, I suppose, entry-level keyboard, really. Mm-hmm. Just really because of the price, but the sound of it is amazing. Now, yeah, I've, I've obviously have you tried it. Yet? Well, being at this keyboard festival this week, we've got one on the stand. So I had a quick go on it this morning, and here's my take. 
This is the Adam Take on the EK50. Okay, braced. So, obviously, 61 key, full size, mm. great. Uh, it's at a, a very affordable um, entry level price point, which is good as well. But what I love about it is that you can do a few different things that I've never seen on a keyboard at that price point before. So, number one, you can layer up to three sounds on your right hand and one on your left. So, it's the same as a PA4X. That's amazing. So, that's clever. You can also, it's got four variations of rhythm, style, A, B, C, and D. So, again, that's really unheard of. You've normally just got two A and B at that price point. One other thing that I, that's really clever and that's been hot this morning when people have been looking at it is the fact that if you play a, a style, so it's an entertainer keyboard as it as it's built in the in the advert for it. If so you what get to does see that it. mean? So basically, what that means is it's not like a synthesizer workstation. You can pick a style, so you could pick a, an eight beat style, uh, and when you play a left hand chord, all the instruments will play along to a chord of C. Yeah. So you get a, like a bass guitar, you get or the backing in the box in there. type thing yeah. but so the good thing is because what, what people tend to do is if they pick a say a big band style so you play big band style and you've got the drums and you've got the bass and then you might have loads of trumpets and woodwind and all, everything that's in a big band but a lot of people like to mute those instruments off so you can just play piano, bass and drums and you, can, you kind of have to go into menus and then lower the volumes and all that kind of stuff. But you've got buttons on the panel that allow you to just instantly mute out parts of the style. Yes. So you can remove the bass. So if you're playing with bass pedals, you can just mute the bass. Or if you want to uh, mute the drums. So you might want to play like a, a dance style, but without the drums. And then you can bring the drums in. Or you might want to play a big band style and remove the, the other parts of the style. Like, the as I said before, the woodwind and all it's that great kind of stuff. If you just really, really clever. Quick jazz trio, that, isn't it? And, yeah. that, and that's a one-button press to do One that. button so press. Not, which is and great. They're, they're, they're nice and easily uh, accessible on the panel, which is great. And what are the speakers like? I haven't really, really good. Tried yeah, 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 good. Yeah. Uh, it's We're playing it in quite a big room. Yeah. And it does, it, it holds up really well. So, because we've, we've obviously had... The Liverpool, we've yeah. had the Micro Ranger, we've had other instruments at a similar price point, but nothing with full size keys yeah. for a while anyway. Yeah. And it just really um, brings us a new force into that price well, the, point. The other point of view, obviously, the speakers in it are great, but we heard it last week at this. We had a, a, like a big dealer event that a load of people mm. came to while you're on holiday and mm-hmm. the one that you missed. Yeah. Um, but we had that running through a basically like a mini liner APA. All oh, right, yeah. okay, yeah. And I've not sounded, through a PA, yeah. It sounded really great. Yeah, yeah. It, the, yeah. it was. A good way to mm. test anything like that, I think, you know, especially when you're used to hearing mm. the Kronos and, and Luke yeah. doing yeah, yeah, yeah. the um the drum sounds on it, the kit stuff, it it was you got the punch and that kind of mm. snap from the and snare. For that it was, level it was, it was just you can't believe yeah. it. Really. Well you've we've got a track, haven't we, that you've you've basically yeah, there's built a, with there's the EK50 a story here. A, so yeah. if you go yeah. on YouTube and search for the Korg EK fifty, yeah. you'll find the launch video. Uh, and Luke, tell us your story. You were behind the launch, well, not behind, though. You you were part of the launch yeah, video process. Of, yeah, so I was part of it. Um, uh, Korg Japan asked us in the UK here to produce the video mm, from beginning right. to end. So, obviously, shooting it all, doing the sound. So, the last time that happened was the um, C1 video that I was in. Oh, yes. And the one before that was the G1, G1. video that you were in. Exactly. Andy, what? Oh. He yeah. was going to do a voiceover, but. Yeah, yeah, it's a sore subject, that. <laughs> Come on. and buy the Korg G1 Air. It's got 88 weighted keys. I can't even defend it. That's exactly <laughs> what it sounded like. So it's fine. You need me to do the voiceover on a video. That's, That's it, what yeah. you want. You get buy this and a yeah. loaf of hovers. Yeah. The G1 Air. <laughs> Come and buy the G1 Air. Anyway, EK50 anyway. video. Yeah. Let's move on. Yes, so we were asked to produce the whole thing. So um, it was quite a complicated process because once you see the video, and I'll put it in one of the breaks so people can yeah, hear yeah. the music on the podcast and see it on the video. Um, yeah, you've got lots of different scenes and it cuts very quickly between different scenes. So you've got like a gospel choir in one scene. You've cool. got like a, a little girl learning with a teacher and mm-hmm. another one and then performing to her parents in a different location. You've got like a rock band using it in rehearsals and on a gig. Mm. So there was lots of shoots. Um, and also there's this older guy playing it in a shop. So we had to go to a music shop. Yeah, I, I, that was and, very, I, I like that bit. And uh, what's really bit. funny about him is that Part of the script was that he was supposed to be this kind of like aging rocker and he's supposed to have tattoos and stuff like that, but he didn't have any tattoos. So, <laughs> so on his hand, you have a tattoo we, sleeve. Yeah, we drew on <laughs> with a pen. Yeah. 
um, like love and hate on his, on his fingers. <laughs> that's real. So if you look on the video, oh wow, that's that's a secret you shouldn't let out. Yeah, but a felt out tip. Out. On his yeah, so they're not real tattoos, unfortunately, but they look great. Look at that! You yeah. get the inside scoop on the microcast. Um, and then obviously we did the soundtrack for it as well. So I was challenged with that. They gave me a guide track and said, "Please copy this because this is the nice, the nice vibe." And they cut the video already to it. Right. Cool. So I just had to spend you know some time with the Nico an fifty and try and replicate that and change it a little bit. And uh, in the end, it changed quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, long story, but basically, yeah, we got there in the end. Sounds great, though. It, sounds, it does sound, does sound great. Sound very, yeah, very yeah good. it doesn't sound like a home keyboard. No, no, it, it really, really doesn't. doesn't. So, yeah, I'll do a genuine It's, to, it's to that kind of, the idea that there could be kids that start on that. I mean, what a starting mm-hmm. point that is. You think mm-hmm. back when we all started, I'm guessing we all started in something very similar. Mm-hmm. My, my very first Yamaha PSR 410, I think it was. Yeah. Right. And you listen, I mean, and that, that got me to hear. You think, well, you know, it's just, it's quite exciting. But there's no way that would have been capable of some of the stuff. Not even close, no. No. Sonically no. in that video, yeah. So. No, exactly. And it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. very, very cool. So we've moved on a long way. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, it's got those kind of core, core, really powerful sounds in there. I tell you the other things as well, the pads. The pads on yeah, it, it's, 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 like, it's like falling under a tripod. I, I like the, um, the one that got me was... Strings, the strings yeah. are really good. Yeah, the is it strings. based on the old PA50 kind of engine? I think it's that engine. Is it that kind of? You, can, you can kind, of, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, kind of yeah. see the the resemblance to it. And PA50 was an amazing keyboard. So yeah. if anybody's familiar with that, you may find uh, similarities with that. But it's like a modern version of it. But it's really, I was really, really impressed. That's about the dynamics as well. Isn't yeah. it? If you really dig into it, you it get really that. Really yeah, punchy so I, sound I don't, don't often get on entry level keyboards. No. It's very one dimensional usually. That the kind mm. of sound you get. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be... Yeah, and well, I, I like I said, I've only had a quick hour on it this morning, so I'll, I'll get back on it this afternoon. So Also, the sound ports are the perfect size if you've got an iPhone 6, if you just want to keep it somewhere. Doesn't, mm. It's not great for the sound, but it's good for storage. Mm. So, yeah. It just cuts off all the bass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we do not uh, recommend One this. thing that I, I, I liked about it as well on the panel is that the room that we were in, it's, a, it's a quite a large room. It's not massive, but it has... Um, the room that we're in has got a load of merchandising up. There's big curtains in it. But it's got a wooden floor, which is a bit weird. So it, 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 you can actually change on the panel the EQ settings of the speakers. Oh, you can. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's quite cool. good. It's I just an EQ that. setting yeah. button, and you press it, and it'll say, like, bass cut, bass boost, or ah, whatever. Excellent. There's loads of different settings, and that was Brilliant. really, really good And another well. thing that's good, if you are using it in more of a <clears throat> production-y setup, like I was when I was recording this track, that you can easily just turn off the speakers. So if you want to plug it into some studio monitors or some PA or something. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to hear those speakers. Yeah. That's really handy as well. So, uh, the, the, obviously we've talked about, as well, you've said it on the video, that you can use it for entry level. It's also great for a second keyboard because it's really light. So if you, I don't know, have a caravan or a holiday home somewhere and you want a second keyboard or to use as a lower manual for an organ yeah. or whatever, there's, there's, there's loads of different uses and for it. And it's got it, a pitch bend mod wheel on it. Yes, it has. you don't often no, no, get no, that you don't, level. No, you don't. So it just brings it into a different realm, really, mm. I think. But no. Yeah. Good job, Korg. <laughs> That's good. I, I like it. That's the approve. microcast seal of approval there. <laughs> uh, so check that out. So Luke will put the, the video in there. Yep. So, next one on my list, uh, Dirtbox Synth Custom Oscillators for Korg uh, Prologue. Tell us. Yeah. So, we were talking to the guy, actually, at the event mm. the other day, weren't we? Yeah. All right. So. I wasn't at the event. I was on holiday. <laughs> Stop rubbing it in. I wanted to be there. We ran this dealer event for our dealers, yes. uh, Korg HQ, and Adam wasn't there. I was on holiday. Missed it. Yeah. did. Yeah. So, I'll tell so us. next year. Well, basically, there's a, uh, a chap called Richard who we, we know, who's going to be a friend of the show, I feel, who's um, been designing custom oscillators for Prologue. Awesome. I believe he's the first one. Yes, I tweeted that. I did see yeah. that. So that's that guy, is it? Oh, and wow. Mate, I think he's made three or four. He's made, I think you've got them written down there, but it's like Yes, he's done, one, uh, um, what have I got? FM, uh, F Monster, well, FM Monster. Yeah, so that's like an FM type yep. waveform. Uh, super Wave. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's just like a super saw, so it's got lots of saw waves. Detuned, so and it's like monstrous, nice isn't it? Yeah. It's and then yeah. uh, organism, organism. Yes, yeah, so that's like obviously like an organ style one that, that he that's really, really like. Cool. Yeah. yeah, but it's um, and he's making some effects now, I think. Yeah, so. and I think the the plan is 
Um, can we do it? Should we do a teaser, a little bit of a spoiler? Yeah. All right. The plan okay. is to go down and see him, and actually we'll, we'll play oh, some yeah. and, and, get, him with him cool. and get him to explain how he's made them. We need to make that happen. He's, Where's he based then? He is in Bournemouth. All yeah. oh, right, be nice drive. So, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, so we'll, we need to make that work. Yeah. 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 So, it's near Bolton. Yeah, <laughs> but th- those um, those patches are available to to buy, aren't they? Now you can actually go to his website yes, and, and check them out. So they've um, uh, been selling very well, actually. He said so. Mm. Yes, check them out. They sound great. There's there for them. and there are audio demos. Maybe we could actually find some audio demos to play in in the breaks as well of yeah, the of the ways. Sure but yeah, we could do that. Very very good. But it'd be really exciting to have him here, you know, showing us the process really of how yeah. he's done it, and then how you then would put that into a, a patch. Mm. Make it, yeah, put no, it into I, a kind I, of practical I, use. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know what Well, it's good because all that. three of us come from sort of different points of view and we'll probably yeah. see it completely differently as well. So mm. yeah. we'll have a little lesson from him. No, that'd, that'd be great. great. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, so the, um, I'm just aware of time. So um, what's that? Mini hog. What about it? We're going to go through some patches. Right. Well, we'll do that after a break, I think. Okay. So I think just to wrap up this section before the break. You were at Radio 1 the other day, Luke. Oh, yes. I was. Yes. Have you... I've been a busy boy. Oh, I was. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, oh, I forgot good. about I did that. actually forget. Just flying back from Hollywood. And just, yeah. <laughs> so go on, tell us, what did you do? So I um, got a random email from Radio 1, one of the producers there. Oh, we've got a chaos pad. And Annie Mack got to use it in her show. Oh, awesome. So it's a KP3 Plus, And she, yeah, she wants to kind of slicken up her show a bit and do nice transitions between tracks and she really liked the idea of using a chaos pad because Zane Lowe a few years ago apparently used to use one right, okay. and she was a big fan of him using that and uh, we helped him out with that back in the day so yeah I went to Radio 1 it was very exciting went that's to awesome the actual studios um, <clears throat> so I was in a studio next to the actual live mm. broadcast so studio. of course what you've done you've got an interview that you're going to play oh yeah uh, well, that, that's great. and you've got her to record an intro <laughs> no cheer <Gia! laughs> I should have missed opportunity yeah, there, mate. Sorry about that. If you're listening, no, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah it's cool. So she, we spent a few hours just, you know, hooking it into their rig, which is very complicated. Um, mm, imagine. Uh, it's interesting the way they actually produce their show as well. Everything's on touch screens, so right. all of the tracks are just there, and they can, she can just touch which song she wants to play. Are you, are you hinting here for new gear for yeah, the podcast? Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. We need to. Uh, the yeah, it. yeah, that'd be good uh, if you had like a brew jingles. request button as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a jingle, brew request. Exactly, get that going. Yeah. Yeah. All the jingles are on a big touch screen, and then you just touch the jingle. But what's nice is that she was putting everything through the chaos pattern oh, like all the time. Right, so at yeah, any time yeah. she could just put a finger on it and then just select her. I saved her a few favorite effects and sweeps and synth sounds and stuff. And yeah, so I think it's do you, cool. do you like, quite a lot to the show. Do you like your job? It's okay. <clears throat> yeah, just <laughs> no, I absolutely love it. Yeah. No, that that's really good. That's really good. I'm very lucky. Indeed. So that's good. Meeting up with the celebs. It was cool. Yeah. So speaking of celebs, mm-hmm. hopefully next month we may have a, a something else that we can't announce yet. But with uh, we're trying to get involved with uh, an event. We've had the go ahead, but we've not had to sign on the dotted line yet. So we'll we'll talk more about that. that I mean, that is that is mean. That yeah. is a teaser. That is <laughs> it mean. Is, isn't no, it? honestly, uh, it is like exciting. We're talking worldwide celebs. Dom- domination, basically. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah. But we'll tell you more about that. It's going to be in December, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, any other news? Any other gossip? Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, we were also contacted by yes. um, BIM, yeah, that's right. who are, um, I think it stands for Brighton Institute of Modern Music. It's basically Br- a college. British, isn't it? British. It's British, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Brighton. Uh, Sorry, yeah. There is well, one in Brighton. Ba- yeah, they, they originated in Brighton. Yeah, of course. But yeah. they now have. Brighton. I was just doing a North South reference. That's <laughs> nothing against people from Brighton. It was just. You could know. have been Bolton Institute. It could have been. <laughs> could have been. You, you slipped up there. there. There are no institutes in. No, I don't. I, no offense. No, there isn't. Mate. No, not from Bolton. <laughs> I agree. I, agree. Hey, um, I don't know if it's happened yet, but did Bolton Wanderers went into administration yesterday? Did they? Yeah. yeah. Do you know how much it is? Hmm? We could do that. Team Microcast, we could buy it and anyway. Oh, yeah. Five yeah. Quid or whatever. Anyway, so you were saying. Um, yeah, so it was BIM. So you, they're basically a music college and they've just, and they have um, colleges everywhere, like in London. That's right. They've got one in Dublin. Um, they're big news. But anyway, they've just started a podcast. And the lady mm. who's on that podcast, they do like interviews of industry people. and uh, So you should check it out, actually. I've listened to it a bit. It's, it's really good. But basically, they've approached us and said, oh, would we like to go on their podcast? <laughs> so. <laughs> As guests, it terrifies me so, things like that. Thing yeah. is, they they will see behind the curtain, they'll see they what a bunch of clowns we are. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. because it's, it's like <laughs> you're, you're talking to like Shatter the illusions. proper professionals that know what they're doing. Yeah, not like me with a brew. <laughs> you know, 
but anyway, so anyway speaking of Bruce we'll yes let's do it uh, let's have a quick break reset the old camera and then it's game time oh, we're going shit. straight in we're not playing any games Here right we then let's well, do we it. are playing games but we'll see part two <laughs> Come back, <laughs> part two. So, right, mini log, tell us. Yes, we've got some new patches that's been released. It's volume four of the sound packs for um, the mini log, and we've actually got a mini log. We've loaded them into oh, it. Oh, wicked! And it's called the Deep Dive. And you, you know, or you used to know the guy that's produced these, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, see me. Yeah, he's. Uh, so, he's the, sorry, so the one before it is. I'm so I can get in my head. It was Dutch bass. Is that right? Yeah, so this so, is yeah. the follow up to this. This is part of the same. Yeah, so yeah, we did a. I think there was a UK producer set which we did. That's right. Then there was a. I think a Spanish one possibly. Mm. And then the the one you the Dutch one. Yeah. And now we've got this one. Right. So there's there's so many free patches. Out. Oh, free. How much? Free. Free. Amazing. And <laughs> do you know what? It's amazing as well when you when you're meeting um, fans of the show. I want to say that because you, you know people do uh, email mum and dad as we uh, and yeah, they'll, yeah. or, or they'll uh, will be at uh, an event or whatever and they'll say that they didn't even know these were out there yeah that's it yeah so it's 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 good so you, so you need the librarian software you need the librarian software which again is free just yeah. download it then you can import these patches send them across to your mini log and off we go, which is what I've done with mine. Great. So, Andy, the, the sounds 101 onwards. Okay. And so these are done onwards. by someone you know? Yeah, with? Artemi Pavlov. Okay. And he's an amazing sound designer. <clears throat> I work with him a little bit at Roland as well. And he's done a cracking job. Um, his company, Sound Vibes, have actually produced these. Wow, so, okay. Yeah. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, well, there's 110 in total, but we're not going to go through all 110. We'll just fly for a couple, we'll just shall we? A little flavor. Yeah, yeah. So we'll use the sequence, shall we? Just because, you know, if he's put those in as well, it yep. seems polite to do so. We like that one. Let's move on. Can we have patch names? You can, if I can get it quick enough before the oscillator gets <laughs> Okay, so the first one is uh, Glacier Bass. Triangle vibe. Nice. We like that. That's 102, 103. Super square. That makes sense. Squelchy. We like that. Yeah. Cold fifth. Streets are edge. That's lovely, that isn't it? They're really good. Aren't they? Jet bass. Wicked. We like that. Silver box. Yep, silver box. They're very now, aren't they? Mm. They are. Well, Mono like funk. One. That's got elements of M1 organ. Yeah, it has, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> The, the oscilloscope's going mental as well, by the way. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's going it's crazy. That one, sorry, is Vintage Organ. That's good as well. Deep Stab. We like that. Like that. Just put a drum beat behind that and then, yeah, you then you know, waffle do. over the top, you've got a song. <laughs> 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 Fat Fifth. That's, oh, that is a bit of me, though. That's really nice. Look at these frames. Yeah, this is great. A lot of work's gone into these because I know how long it makes them. It takes to make them. I've had to do 110 of them and just given them away. You can, you can just hear straight away that that's not been that's been not, not been knocked up, is it? No, that's exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, proper, they're they're really proper. good. I could actually do that for the next hour. So, but that's I mean that gives you an idea anyway. They yeah. sound great. That's 10 of of 100 that you've so got available. If you've got a mini log, go and check them out. If you haven't got a mini log, go and buy a mini log that's and then check them out. Yeah. And you can can you pick and choose which ones of these you want as well? So or you can yeah because so, you bring up the librarian and then you can just see a list and you can actually just click on it preview it if you like it and then you just drag it in so you can pick from any of those four libraries yeah, so you can have all of those libraries open yeah and just yeah go and do brilliant. a pick and mix absolutely brilliant <laughs> I love this thing speaking <laughs> of downloads the uh, I don't know if I mentioned it but 
on the other podcast but a couple of months ago we released pack 31 for PA4X for new yes, styles yeah, yeah. so uh, the reason why I think I've been playing them over there before and what's different with these is uh, because there's some there's some great styles in there very sound alike for modern tunes etc but they I don't know if you know this but every style that you you can now download for free is they've got a built-in chord sequence so if yeah, you yeah. if you don't know how to play the song you press the chord sequence button start the style and it'll play all the chords from the song so you just literally sing or and finger the me- melody and tells or whatever. you the chords as well yeah so yeah it tells you the chords it's, it's really really it's good clever. actually because sometimes <clears throat> you come to a style and it's really obvious what it is yeah yeah it's like billy jean or something yeah. but some of them are Jimmy Bean. Yeah. 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 Cryptic names. Yeah. yeah. But then some of them are a bit more obscure. You kind of recognise it, but you think, I can't really think what that is. But then mm. when you hear the chords. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely. Can your memory yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'll tell you what, as well, just before, because I know we're going to go on to the game, but on the EK50, there's the children, Robert Myers' children. Oh, is that? I didn't fingers. see that. Right. Know, not that we're ending cool, now, I'm going. But <laughs> see, yeah, the, the demo that you missed that, that Richard out. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a point five later, and we're going to do a bit of a walk through of where we are and we might Ooh. get into the room where we're perform where we're doing the demonstration get into the side as well get some and we'll do the um we'll do a bit on the ek50 okay. and we'll see if yeah. pete's free yes. and uh, pete can do a bit if of playing shower yeah with his brut on uh, <laughs> <laughs> so because obviously when we're here we like to get pete on so i'm sure he, he'd love to come see if he can play for you all later so that's, cool. that's going to be yeah. the point five so anyway enough of that it's game time! Here's the new game. Here's the new jingle! There's a new jingle! Oh, I'll tell you what, are you ready for this? No. You better be. Strap in. Get ready. For the TV game show, Time Machine. And here's your host, Anna Whipple. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> so there you yes. go. The new game show. The new game show is the TV game show, where every month we're going to do a different retro game show and relate <laughs> it to Korg products. You need a suit for uh, your presentation. Now, <laughs> obviously, also, if you if you if you were um, clever and you listen to the theme tune now this month's game show is play your cards right it is. Yeah. so here it is play cards right play your cord right here we go <laughs> play your so basically what we're going to do <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't know we this have uh, a series of three different cord product ladders <laughs> and you'll have to guess higher or lower so I, for example, will say a Mini Korg 700, yeah. and then I might say a Korg Kronos, so to which you would say higher because it came out later. Okay. So and every one that you get right, you'll get a point. So, yeah. so am I playing against the good? However, okay. there's only three ladders available, so there's a maximum score of 30 points. Okay. <laughs> but to see who goes first and what ladder, we need um, uh, a way. Now, what they used to do on Play Cards, right, is they would say. As for say, they have 100 people, how many people have their head shaved? And you'd say, oh, 60. And then you'd say, oh, no, I think it's 40. And whoever was closest to the pin gets to go first on the ladder. Did you literally say that because you were looking at me, by the way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving head. So, what I've done, let me just get my other phone. <clears throat> this is So, um, this, the first one amazing. is closest to the pin. So, oh, I thought I was going to finish there. I was waiting for the, for the finish. So, this is what I've done. So... I've gone on eBay <laughs> and I wanted to buy a left side panel for a Triton Extreme. Right. <laughs> and I found someone selling one. Why? <laughs> and I want you to guess how much it cost. So let me get a picture of it and you can see. <laughs> so a that's a picture. We'll, we'll get it on the screen so those of you at home can play. That's nice actually, isn't it? Right? That's a nice, that's a so, nice piece. Andy, I'm going first. How much do you reckon that is to buy? I reckon that is 20... Including postage. Including <laughs> postage. That's important well, because you. it's coming from California. Oh, well, well, okay, <laughs> we're going to need this sort of information. In that case, I'm going to go for £27.48. pence. Okay. Luke. Roughly. Just go 30 uh, quid and it's yours. Don't worry about it. So I'm saying higher or lower or I'm going for a price? You're going higher or lower? I think 
high, uh, lower. So oh, just, just to yeah. clarify, I have to give an exact price and Luke has to yeah, guess yeah, higher no, or lower. Yeah, no, but next year, next <laughs> round, you will... Oh, I see, okay, right, that's yeah. fine then. So, uh, Andy, what was your guess? £27.48. What are you saying, Luke? Go lower. Lower! Slightly, slightly Ooh, lower. It's £150! We've got a jingle. Have we? We have. Come on, Luke. Oh, so Andy's <laughs> correct, so Andy gets to go first. Wow. So here we go. So I, we're, we're playing a timeline game against the guy who does chronology, right? Yeah. Cool, thanks. <laughs> so, the first rung. I can't get. remember any of it. Though. Right, this is an easy one for you, Andy. This is the first rung. Don't forget, you. you can get these wrong. We're going through all ten, right. so people can play at home. Have we got any tension music, Luke? Yeah, we've got, well, yeah, we've got a note from the mini-log. Is that, is that what we've got? Let's put the loop back All on. Alright. <clears throat> Play at home, feel free to join in. So, we start with the Korg Radius. Right. Which came out in the year 2006. Thank you. These are all from the Wikipedia, so these could even be wrong. <laughs> but who cares? We're only playing a game. So, so the Korg nice Radius, piece. 2006. Yeah. Your first product is the Chaosolator. Are we going higher or lower? Join in at home. Higher or lower, Andy? What are we going for? I'm going higher. Higher! 2007. One point correct. Ooh. Tell your friends about me. Next one. Don't. I'll give you the first point as well. because you yeah. Next one. The Korg Karma. Was it higher or lower than 2007? Lower. Correct! 2001. Brilliant. <laughs> can, can, we, we go can, can we get a compressor on him? <laughs> <laughs> so 2001 we're on. Microkorg <laughs> is the next one. Uh, lower. Are oh no, hang on. Wait, no. Higher, sorry. Higher again, he's right again. He's having a flyer. 2002. Then we've got the MS2000B. Lower. Whoa. Higher, 2003. What? Got that oh, one the wrong. B. Oh, you, that's... Oh. So we're on 2003. Next one is the Poly 800. Is this still me? So I'm doing still this whole you, thing, yeah, so yeah. that's lower. That's lower, that's correct. Then we go to the Poly 6 from 1983. Was it higher though or lower than 1983? Higher. Oh, it's wrong. It's 1981. Oh. So then we're on 1981 and we go for the MS... Oh, he's got it, he's got it in there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Next one we go to the MS-20. Uh, um, lower. Correct. 1978. So we're on 1978. Then we go to the SAS-20. The SAS-20? Yeah, we've featured this on Chronology. It's the very yeah, first not, keyboard. I remember it well. Um, it's higher. You should know. SAS-20. <laughs> it's, it's, it is higher. It's 1983. And then to finish the first ladder, we're going to go with the DSS-1, which is our very first sampling keyboard. Is it higher or lower than 1983? Higher. It's correct. Oh. Well done, Andy. So your score for round one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll tell you what, mate, you did I'll, well I'll then. take that. So that's eight points to Andy. Correct. So then we go into round two. I know this is supposed to be fun, but this is incredibly stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, relax. It's now Luke's turn. So here we go. So Luke, the next pr the next thing I wanted to buy, have we got any music? We can have music. Oh, no, we need, uh, we need a bit of music. Here we go. So, the other day, I got out my Korg Karma. Oh, but the top panel was broken. Oh, no. And I needed to buy a new one. So this is the full front panel from the same guy, funnily enough, from California. <laughs> Still alright. He, I think, I he think was it's selling down there, a Korg Karma top panel unit. Excellent clean, exclamation mark, it Excellent. says on eBay. Yeah. Worldwide shipping, okay. So this is including shipping, shipping. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, I want to buy the full top Korg Karma, the top panel unit. Bearing in mind, you thought the other one was 20 quid and it ended up being 150 quid. <laughs> but what you have That's to think your about guide price. is you, you get these everywhere, so. Yeah, yeah, very common. Yeah. I'm going to go 349. 349. Good, good guess. Andy, higher or lower than 349? Lower. Lower. Correct! Oh. So Luke's having a shocker. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> The actual price was £222.68. There we go. So there we go. So we go to ladder number two. Andy can stretch his lead. So oh, it's just, oh, okay, so I get yeah, right. Yeah, you get okay. to go. You're annihilating me. You're Hang on, there's, a thir there's 30 points available, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice you're already way. on eight. Nice. So you're flying, mate. Here we go. <sighs> we Here start we go. this time with the Z1. So, do you remember the Z1? Do you I remember do. a year, just roughly? Just, just, those of you at home, remember a year? 
1997 oh, okay. is where we begin our quest. Okay. I was, yeah, I was right. Then we go to the I-30. The I-30. The Ooh. I-30. Ooh, lower. Wrong. It was 1998. Mm. Knew it would be. <laughs> So we're on 1998. Yeah. Then we go to the Triton. Higher. Correct. 1999. By one year. Correct. Then we go to the Electribe S. So I think it was the ES1. The very first sampling Electribe. Higher. Correct. Year 2000. Good. Then we go to the Electribe A1. The EA1. The analog. Lower. Correct. 1999. Oh. I think it's game over, Luke. Yeah, I think it is. So we're on 1999. Then we go to the new, and I say new because we did this product twice, the CX3. The reissue. The reissue of the CX3. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go higher. Correct. Year 2000. And then we go to the KP2. Chaos Pad. Oh, this is this higher is, or lower this, than two thousand. Play it all, please. Oh, oh, He's like, struggling. Uh, what are we going for? It's higher again. It's correct. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, then we go to the Triton, two thousand and four. Triton. Is it higher or lower than two thousand and four? The, tri- the Triton. The Triton. It's lower. We've done the Triton. Oh yes, Triton LE. Sorry. Oh, okay, higher. <clears throat> uh, wrong. Two thousand and one. Oh, oh, you swan. So we're on two thousand and one. Then we go to the PA one X. Lower. Yeah, one X. Uh, wrong. It's two thousand. Oh, it's all falling apart. It's uh, just like and then to end the again. second ladder, <laughs> we're on two thousand and four. We bring in the Oasis. Higher. Correct. Two thousand and five. So that concludes round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. Oh, Andy's on 15. fifteen, and I'm on zero. So uh, you can't win, Luke. No. But for fun, we'll go on with we'll round on. three. See how close I can get. So <clears throat> round three. I go back to my eBay shipping. Okay. So <laughs> whatever you do, don't hit buy now while you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> so this month's podcast. The other day, karma, yeah. the other day, that'd be karma, wouldn't it? Useful. The other day, I got out my Triton rack, and the top panel screw was missing. Oh, mission! So anyway, screw. I went on to eBay, uh, and I found I found one. Yeah. Uh, so this is the top panel screw. Yeah. Uh, do you want to have a look at what it looks like? Yeah, which, which corner? Because, no. The, the, there you difference. go. That's what it looks like. Yeah, okay. I know it's it quite was. Yeah. It's quite special. Yeah. Apparently, rare find. If apparently, he says in his description. Well, you can find them in... From California. Yeah. How much would it cost me to buy the t- the, the rack top lid screw? I'm glad that you asked. The correct price is £13.24. <laughs> Good guess what you're saying, Luke. Higher or lower? It's got to be lower than that. Are you sure, Luke? <laughs> No. All I'm saying is, are you sure? <laughs> okay, higher. Higher it is! Yay. Yay. Oh, thank, thank you for that. Thank God for so that. I expect 10 out of 10 for our product <laughs> specialist now, Luke, so no pressure. Okay. Ladder 3, Luke, Come on, product specialist you, for Korg UK. No pressure. No pressure. We start this little tour in back in 1980 with the Korg Trident. Ooh. But then we go to the Mini Pops. Oh. Is that higher or is it lower than 1980? Come on, chronology boy. Lower. Correct, 1967. Boof. But then we go on in our little journey <laughs> and we move to the very first tuner, guitar oh. tuner that Korg made, which was the WT-10. Is that higher or lower than 1967? See, it's not funny anymore, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Lower. <laughs> We're on 1975. Oh. So we move on from the WT-10 to the VC-10. The very first vocoder that Korg oh. made. 19... So straight in. He didn't even let me describe go it. On, <laughs> the description yeah. and everything. Boom. 1978. Yeah. Boom. We've got one of them. And then we go yeah. on on our little journey to the... Uh, 1978. And we go on to the Monopoly. Higher. Higher, 1981. Do you want me to say the years as well? Hang He's on. showing off here. He's showing off here. <laughs> Double points if he gets it right. There you go. Okay, all right then. 1981 we're on at the moment. Then we move on to the RK100. Not to be confused with the RK100S. The oh, RK100. We're on 1981. It's um, 1984. Correct. <laughs> Ooh, what have <laughs> I done? Are we giving him double points? Yeah, we are. Okay. We've set this out there now. Then we move on on our journey from 1984 
to the I1. Ooh. That was it's definitely higher. Okay, um, that's one point. It's ninety four. No, we're on nineteen eighty four, mate. No, ninety four. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, ninety five. Mm. Oh, so we're on nineteen ninety five, and then we move from the I one to the I two. Oh. <laughs> okay. So nine. Is it higher or lower than nineteen ninety five? Trust your feelings. 94 lower. Correct! Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I thought I'd trick you with that one. Yeah. Then we move on to the I3. 93 lower. Oh, he's done it again! Oh, I mean, what is What is this? And then we end our uh, ladder section of the game with the, from 1993 with the prophecy. Oh, the prophecy. That was 90. We're going Five. higher or lower? Oh, yeah. 95. Correct! Double bubble! What yes. a way to finish! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> Let's count up the scores, he's got 15 to beat! I've got I'll 1, 2, go. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13! Oh. Andy is the winner of the very first game show. Round of applause, we'll put that in later. It doesn't matter, Andy wins! So there we go. So that was the that concludes the very first uh, game show. So Andy, as oh. the winner, as the winner of the game show, I get to have a lay down. No, no, oh, you, right. you, 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 with your uh, amazing uh, skills of uh, winning, your prize is you get to pick the next game show. Fantastic. Oh, right. Okay. What for now? Or? Uh, for next month. What are you doing with the oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Here we go. So we've done play your cards right. Yes, we have. These could be your choices. Oh, okay. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Catchphrase. Bullseye is not allowed because that's the Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> supermarket <laughs> sweep. Who's put that in there? Are we going to do supermarket <laughs> sweep? Do we can do it in the <laughs> Run around the world. I'll find me an RK100. Let's go. Okay, I'll find one. Um, then we've got uh, <laughs> Family Fortunes. <laughs> we've got Jeopardy. We've got Blockbuster. Think about the theme tunes as well. Yeah. We have a good theme tune. We've got Krypton Factor. We've got Weakest Link. <laughs> Phone a friend. We need to get John McCubbery on the line <laughs> for that one. <laughs> yeah. We've got Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? My word. Um, wait, I was a phone a friend. That's Countdown. Cool. Yeah. Mastermind. I think he's oh, a good yes. one. Yeah, nice. Uh, 15 to 1. <laughs> 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 I just remember discussing the next one is going for gold. <laughs> what we thought we'd do for this one is we'd get all the people from the office with different, different nationalities, <laughs> nationalities, and we could anyway. That's just and that's for another day. Yeah. Uh, generation game, uh, Price is Right, Strike It Lucky, name that tune, Blankety Blank, Mister and Missus. So what 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 do you want for next? All one? day long, blankety blank. Blankety blank. Oh, that's a good one. Blank. Sound soundtrack and this and. Oh, the, I'm yeah, already yeah, I already yeah. know how we're going to do that one. So so are you you're going to be the host, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. So it's right. Yeah. Well, Edwards is on. So that's it's going to be blank. Amazing is the next one. <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah. It is. So we yeah. make. Is that going to need to be a point five? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Otherwise, no, I'm going to no, run out of peeps. No. Yeah. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was um. That's thoroughly entertaining. That's the new game. Yeah, I've, um, I've just about calmed down now. So. so, so we're gonna have a break. Yes, yeah, so we'll have a quick break and then we'll come back with some more stuff. Yes. Cool. Let's do it.
welcome back. I'm out of breath. After, it's, after yeah, that. it's like yeah, it's full on that one. Yeah, so there you go. So Love we uh, Andy's pretending to play PS4. So we move on. Pretending, yeah. With <laughs> chronology, what have you got for yeah. us this month, Luke? Let's have a listen to the jingle and we'll go into it. Cork chronology. What I think we need to do for this chronology, we need to ch- change it up a bit. We need to have Luke record the jingle on whatever product it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's like a drum machine, Give him- and have like the voice of <laughs> chronology. <laughs> Give him a bit, quite quite yeah, 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 though, give a bit more work. See though, what they all yeah. sound yeah. like. Yeah, because I'm not that busy actually. So it's probably, <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, busy. Just 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 waffling anyway, around to Radio what, what One. For, yeah, what yeah. 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 <laughs> what, have you, what have you got for us this week? We have the PA eighty. Great. So this was um, the actually first PA mm. keyboard, and uh, so following the launch of the i three in nineteen ninety three, as we just heard in the quiz, um, Korg changed the way musicians thought about a range of keyboards forever because it made kind of it brought it into a slightly different domain basically. Mm. So until then, these types of auto accompaniment keyboards had been used almost exclusively by amateur players mm-hmm. at home. so And they would not even been considered by pros, really, um, or studio musicians. Uh, but that changed with the i3. So the remainder of the 90s saw Korg refine the i-series concept with an evolution of that range. Mm. And some of those other models we heard, different sizes, became more powerful. But the dawn of a new century marked a new product line for Korg, and that was the Professional Arranger, or PA, category. So the concept of this range was to fuse the professional approach of the groundbreaking products like the i3 with easy to use approachable nature of home keyboards mm. so that was really the kind of ethos behind it <clears throat> with the added convenience of speakers built in as well so you can kind of just plug it in off you go uh, so the first ever product was the pa80 so just like the i3 before it the pa80 used current cutting edge technology from the synthesizer division and this time it was the hi synthesis from the triton oh, yeah. we've heard mm. about in different chronology so a lot of the, the sound kind of palette came from the Triton. So it gave it a, they gave the PAA to a fresh and professional palette of sounds, and it instantly made people sit up and take notice and made it sound different from other arranger kind of keyboards. Just on that note as well, we talked before about, oh, I used to have this Yamaha little keyboard or whatever. I often find that your home keyboards, in inverted commas, the amateur keyboards, as you've just said then, yeah. if you picked up an old keyboard from 2002 you'd go oh it's rubbish do not sound that good or whatever but you picked up a synthesizer from 2002 you'd be like oh yeah that's yeah, classic yeah, for his yeah, time yeah. and it's weird how you mm. but with the arranger stuff i think you, you're right i do think it has a uh, a different um uh, our arranger keyboards still have that unique sound they do they definitely do so the pa80 introduced a concept a new concept, and it was a multitasking operating system, which was called OPOS, Objective Portable Operating System. It basically meant that for the first time on these type of keyboards, you could multitask. Mm. So you could do two things at once. That's right. So, for, for instance, you could simultaneously load a song whilst you're playing a style. Ah, okay. So for the live guys, this is brilliant because mm. um, obviously it makes your show flow <clears throat> slicker and everything. Um so it had 61 keys with aftertouch, which is great. Mm. Um, two 22 watt speakers built in, and a backlit custom LCD screen. A 32 meg of PCM ROM, which is, as we said, came um, partly from the Triton. So that gave you say, 660 sounds, um, including digital organ drawbars as well. Um, and these sounds, uniquely on these PA keyboards, were fully editable. So it was a little bit like a synthesizer yeah, in yeah. that way that you could really go deep and start tweaking your sounds and you could sample into it so you could sample into it and make your own sounds out of those samples you had up to 304 factory styles and they all had eight style tracks so eight parts if you like for each style Uh, four single touch settings um, and 48 user styles so even back then you were able to make your own style from scratch if you wanted or or edit the current ones so there were four variations two fills intros and endings uh, a break, synchro start, stop, kind of what you'd expect from a keyboard like that, plus four assignable pads, which are really cool because they're basically loops, which you can just touch <clears> the pad and it'll play either like a percussion loop or it'll play a little loop um, harmonically, which will fit with the chords that you're mm. playing on the keyboard. So they're really useful and obviously they still, still live on today. Yes, absolutely. In our PA keyboards. Um, the PA80 saw another world first for Korg in the form of the XDS sequencer. Mm. 
So this was a little crossfader, basically. Um, XDS stood for Crossfade Dual Sequencer. Uh, it's the first time a user could have two songs loaded at the same time, and again, this goes back to that kind of yeah, multi tasking yeah. thing. And you could use the crossfader to seamlessly blend between the two. So again, for the live guys, this is brilliant. Well, great, still available this. today as well. Yeah, still used again today. That that concept. So. Does ev- does everything do that now? Oh, I say everything. Um, like, do well, the other the, the have p- that if it's got a PA well? a professional range, you saw the seven hundred. Uh, one thousand does it. The four X does it. The seven hundred yeah. doesn't. Wow. Brilliant. Yeah. So it's it's kind of lived on and it's really useful for those uh, <clears throat> entertainer um, you've guys. Made, you've made me think. What about? Yeah, I'm just I'm just sort of just check something. So anyway, let's m- move on. So um, you had great effects in there, four stereo effects processors, and you could then choose from a choice of ninety different effects. Um, loads of connections on the back. You have left and right on jacks. Two additional outputs. MIDI in, out and through. PC to host, remember those? I do yeah, indeed. Yeah. 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 Sockets. Yeah. Uh, flash card slot. Uh, floppy disk drive. Um, and um, input jacks as well for your sampling. So that was left and right jacks. You had three pedals as well. You could have a damper pedal, an assignable pedal as a switch. And also the EC5, which is our pedal we do for controlling styles and different variations. Um, and it also had, on top of all that, expansion options. Right. So you could expand it with flash ROM. You could put a two gig hard drive in it. That sounds like a, a lot of space for 2000. A two gig drive was massive yeah. then, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Especially back then. To be fair, it still is now. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, for, yeah. For, for that you know, kind of data it, we're it, talking about, if you're talking it, about MIDI files. Yeah, if it's, like if, it, if it's, um, you know, my organ that I used to play, what, two year 2000, is it? Year 2000, yeah. or it was a EL90 probably still. Yeah. What, how big's a floppy disk? 1.44 meg. Meg, yeah. And you could get 30 songs on that. Yeah. yeah. So 2 gig. So 2 gig is for the guy that's doing the heavy audio work, yeah. basically. It's three yeah, th- yeah, 3,000 yeah. songs, so it's mega wow. at the time. Yeah. And the, yeah, the 700 doesn't have the cross signal, oh, okay. I was right. It just made me think. You can also, you could also <coughs> add a vocal harmonizer, uh, which had and a guitar input with dedicated effects and a video output that allowed you to use it as a karaoke machine. So... <laughs> incredibly powerful mm. um, it's interesting because it was like a kind of best of of all currents to Korg's current flagship technology at that yep. time so it was taken from the Triton the i-series and even the Tonework guitar pedals right okay shared some technology I mean even so. now so you've got with the PA4X obviously you've got the PA4X technology which is amazing but you've also got effects from Kronos in there you've got Vox guitar effects in there so it, even now a lot of this still marries still to translates today's across, product yeah so that's it. That's the PA80. Yes. Amazing. Awesome. Year awesome. Awesome. 2000. Year 2000. Let's have a look. <laughs> the year 2000. So I'll cast your mind back to the year 2000. What are we all doing? It's 20 years old in the year 2000. I can't believe it's that long ago. That's pretty scary. Yeah. So the Y2K or the Millennium Bug was a computer oh, yeah. bug that may... Yeah. Of course, probably. remember the adverts for yeah. it. <laughs> it was really <laughs> with scary music and like yeah. all that. One day the clock will change. Uh, con- yeah, countries <laughs> right. such as Italy, Russia, South Korea had done little to prefer uh, uh, to prepare for uh, the year two thousand. They had no more uh, technological problems than those countries like the US that spent millions of dollars to combat the problem. Due to the lack of results, many people dismissed the Millennium Bug as a hoax or even the end of the world cult. It was a big thing, wasn't it? It was a massive thing at the time, yeah. 2000 was the wettest year on record in the, in the UK. Nice. Uh, the best-selling UK single for the year. Oh, no idea. It was no Can idea. We Fix It, Bob the Builder. Oh, oh wow, okay. Still hear that daily. It's this year my little boy falling in apart. The, car. <laughs> uh, the best-selling worldwide album, I remember this coming out, it was uh, the number one, The Beatles, with 31 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. million copies sold. Wow. The highest-grossing film was Mission Impossible 2. Wow, okay. here's a random fact for you. You know the new Mission Impossible film? Yeah. You know it's the highest grossing Mission Impossible film out of the series. Really? Is it really? Yeah. That's the one with Henry Cavill. Yeah, got yeah. Superman with his yeah. loaded arms where he's Tash grows. Yeah. Have you seen the, the no, game? No, I haven't actually seen the film yet. So when he, when he did the film, they had the whole CGI Superman thing where he had a beard and he had to shave it yeah. off. He didn't shave it off. And then there's one bit in the film. If you just type in um, loaded Henry Cavill loaded guns moustache there's a clip where he, he's got a, a tash but as he walks towards Tom Cruise he's like flexing his fist like this yes, yeah. yes. and his tash grows <laughs> no <laughs> yeah because of the cut the cut in the film it's really funny and when he 
cocks his arm like that. His tash grows. Yeah, but his really arms funny. are so big. They must have done that on purpose. Yeah, that's He's lovely. Cast, what about The Witcher, eh? He's cast as The Witcher yeah, in yeah. the Netflix series. Anyway. It's going to be wicked. Jan- First of January Millennium celebrations take place throughout the UK. The Millennium Dome is officially opened by Her Royal Majesty the Queen. Mm. Good opening. 23rd of February, Sir, uh, Sir Stanley Matthews. Uh, Dies at the age of 85. Legend with Stoke Blackpool in England, of course. He was a legend. Uh, the Tate Modern is open to the public, 12th of May. 20th of May, Chelsea beat Aston Villa 1-0 to win the last FA Cup final at Wembley before the oh, old yeah. stadium is rebuilt. Yeah. And I can't for the life of me remember who it was. It's what? a pub quiz question. Who, what, who, who scored? Oh. It was, uh, it wasn't someone, f- it was like a, I can't remember. Can't remember. No, I can't. Answers on a postcard. Yeah. Tenth yeah. of June, the much anticipated Millennium Bridge opens to the public, but it has to close. Remember why it closed? Because <laughs> it, like it, it, yeah, yeah. it was a, it was essentially a rope bridge, wasn't well, it? Yeah. Across the Thames. It was an Indiana Jones uh, bridge. Fourteenth yeah. of July. This will take you back. The reality television game show Big Brother first aired in the UK. Ah. What a series that was. Yeah. I'd use can't time travel if I could get out of that. But that one at the time it was Naughty Nick. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just unbelievable. It was massive wasn't it, mm. when it first came out. Twentieth uh, of July, the production of the Ford Escort, one of Britain's most successful and iconic motoring nameplates, finishes after thirty-two years. Finishes. Oh my word! Need to bring that back, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Fourth Especially of August, one. Mark II. Queen Lovely. Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, celebrates her one hundredth birthday. Good lad. Fifteenth uh, of September, <laughs> lady. Yeah. Apologies. She's, in fact, goodbye. Female. Yeah. God bless the Queen Mother. <laughs> 15th of September to the 1st of October, Great Britain competes at the Olympics in Sydney and wins 11 gold, 10 silver and 7 bronze, with rower Steve Redgrave winning his 5th consecutive gold oh, yeah. medal. I remember that one. Wow. 7th of October, Wembley Stadium closes after 77 years for a complete reconstruction that would see its seating capacity raised from 90,000 to 90,000 all seated, and it was set to reopen in 2003. But this was delayed numerous times with an eventual official opening ceremony held at the 2007 FA Cup it's final. So it's it's closed for seven years. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they did all the Millennium Stadium playoff finals and FA oh, Cups yeah. and all that. And now it's it? been desecrated with top. Sorry. Spur. Oh. <laughs> oh. 16th of October. <laughs> The BBC News uh, main evening news programme moved to 10 p.m. Do you know, I don't remember. I always thought it was always 10 No, o'clock. I remember that happening as yeah. well. And it's like, you know, it made the news. Yeah. 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 The following year, what ITV1 moved yeah. its news programme back to the same time slot and broadcast in direct competition. Uh, 16th of November, uh, Michael Caine receives a knighthood <laughs> from the Queen. Blow the bloody doors off. Um, 20th of November... Tying Judith Keppel becomes the first person to what, Andy? I'm, uh, Judith Keppel, I have no idea who that you is. Do you remember that? It's, she, won, she was the first person to win £1 million on Who Wants to Be a oh. Millionaire. Oh. Wow, well, so there, there we go. go. That's the uh, year 2000. Look at that. Very good. So I think we'll have a, a little quick break and then we've yeah. just got downloads to do. Okay, good stuff. Let's do it. See you in a minute. Welcome back, Gear Goggles. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, you may recall, this is the, the, uh, the time when we... Um, Showcase where our products have kind of been featured on various uh, streams of popular media. And they get all over the place. Yeah, uh, and a lot of people send these into us, so we thank you for that. 
So I've got one to start with. Next of kin, G1 Air. So is that the TV yeah. program that you and Ian went and you got locked in <laughs> a mansion? We got stuck because we couldn't get out because they were filming, yeah. So for those of you that are watching the video uh, version, you'll see it. I think it's been on TV a long time ago, actually. All oh, right, yeah. but it's come but to yes, light. It's so that's the light, next yeah. of kin. But you can hardly see the G1, to be honest with you, in the actual TV. But oh, you I can, can actually see, can see, see glimpses there, of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go. Anyway. Not historical drama, then. That's fine. <laughs> no. Oh, Clarence, <laughs> put on the Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's an old podcast. Yeah, anyway, have a listen, it's funny. Next one. Uh, yeah, so I've got John Carpenter here. Legend, of course. Uh, New Halloween's coming out. Excited. Very fond um, person for us because it's our very first podcast we yeah, were talking about. Yeah, that's right, him. yeah. Um, in They Live and everything. And there's a new Halloween sequel coming out, apparently. There is. In October. Halloween. And um, he's going to be using, he's doing the soundtrack to it, which mm. is amazing. And he's using some cool gear. Have you seen the trailer for it? It no, looks yeah. really good, actually. Yeah, does it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> next one I've got Fleetwood Mac got a special delivery for their upcoming tour. Four Cronuses. Or Croni. <laughs> it's got to be Croni. It's got to be Croni. Uh, you want to do the next one? Uh, yeah, mm. congratulations to Cool Artist and our friend Adam Blackstone on his Emmy nomination for Outstanding Musical Direction for the Super Bowl Halftime Show. Yeah, which was wicked. Justin Timberlake. And Using Prologue, Prologue, yeah. And Kronos. Uh, next, I've got artist Alexis. Thanks, mate. Thanks for putting it in this order. Uh, <laughs> Georgiopoulos, is it? Uh, I'd say Georgia, po- Georgia, George or Paulos. George Paulos? George yeah. Paulos. We'll go with that one. Apoc- yeah. George Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> He's showing off his elaborate uh, rig with music radar, including his Arp Odyssey. Oh, yeah, he's got a nice red one there. Uh, there's also a, an MS-20 there in the background as well. Nice. That's cool. Uh, we've got Dylan Dunlap. He is a cool keyboardist um, uh, with One Republic and mm. the people. And he's got a grand stage there, which he's loving. Uh Lauren uh, Gold gives some love to his trusted Kronos in this rig rundown with the keyboard magazine. Uh, he's the he's Lauren Gold rig for the Roger Daltrey performs the Who's Tommy tour. Nice, that's cool. Um, we've got here Yaron Gashovsky, and he's with the Manhattan, Manhattan transfer. transfer. Nice, and he's got a Kronos. Um, and we've got uh, Jonathan Long. A nice picture of his. Uh, his view from his core Kronos. That's such a cool picture, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, it's really cool. You see the video version, I'll put that yeah. on there for you. Um, I've got Peter Daly, he's got um, he's got a nice rig, he's got a Steinway piano and a cool cross two on top. He's doing some uh, Peter Express jazz gigs, I think. Um, yeah. That's cool. Then we've got, of course, Rachel K. Collier uh, with her uh, King Korg, as usual, and uh, Nano stuff. she got a, is it a Nano pad yeah, black. She's also, she's also got a KP3 and a, Plus. And the keys in white. Yeah, and look at all her pink. Flight, flight cases and leads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite cool. Um, yeah, oh, Tony Legend. Longworth. Tony, Tony Longworth. Longworth. Fan of the show, friend of the show. We need to get him on this podcast. So we keep saying this. and this, we... He obviously has done the music for this the, this movie, um, but he's released a free song, which is called Psychonaut. So, so Tony Longworth, for those that remember, he did the soundtrack for Six Pack Sam which got renamed. We did play the trailer in the, an earlier episode and he's wrote the entire soundtrack on Gadget. Uh, so he's just written uh, a new album and he's released a free piece of music for you. Yeah. And he's written it all on the Korg Gadget and a whole load of Korg Monotrons. So, so go to TonyLongworth.com and, and you can see yeah. that. Uh, this is one that you shared, Adam. It's uh, Nate from Jamiroquai. Oh, yeah, yeah that's uh, right. And he's back in singer <laughs> Valerie, having a jam on the Kronos. That was cool. An impromptu jam, which is pretty cool. I think he found the, the patch on the Kronos, which was virtual insanity. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, let's play it. <laughs> Someone yeah. did with that. Yeah. Uh, then we've got Ryan Hater, keyboard player for White Reaper on a grand stage. Grand stage getting a lot of love again. He's going for it. Have you looked at the picture? He's <laughs> just right yeah. up on top of it. So, and that's it yeah. for this month. So... Yeah. There we go. So there's some gear goggles. Don't forget, if you would like to send us, if you spot a piece of core gear on TV, pause your TV, get your phone out, snap it, send us a, an email to microcast at uk, Or you can social it with the hashtag gear goggles. Yep. So uh, tag us in on uh, the old Twitter uh, at microcast and hashtag gear goggles and you'll feature in uh, next month's show. Um, so there we go. Andy, nice. what have we got for downloads? We There's a, jingle? a couple of bits. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So oh, it's the jingle, man. It's the jingle. The jingle. Round one, fight. Yes. 
sure that gets lower every blooming podcast we do as well. (laughs) Um, So we've actually got some updates for the PA series stuff. So Mm. PA 700, PA 1000. um, We've got added compatibility. So you can now use the Vox V8 to 60 volume pedal. Volume pedal, yeah. Um, They've got some added curve presets for volume and expression. um, And that is on PA 700, PA 1000, and PA 4X by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. And of course, all the Oriental versions of the same. Yep. Um, and the only other one that I can find at the moment is there are some new downloads, downloads. for Korg Module, which is obviously the software ah, right, okay. synth oh, as well, right, which, okay, yeah. which yeah. I have to say, until I just looked, I didn't know about. So you've got a new classic EP, um, you've got something called Orchestral Dreams, and then the KA Pro, which is like a dreamy synth penny mm. kind of thing as well, which is available to download now. Um, and of course, you can use that inside Gadget, which, we all, which you're quite a fan That's of, aren't you? And so, I just realised we've forgotten a new product. As well, which is kind of a download if you think about it like that. It's the Electride, oh, of course. Le- Electride Wave. We didn't forget about it. We left it for the download section. <laughs> yeah, didn't we, Luke? and there's the <laughs> of new. Of course, we did. Yeah. So go go. On. tell us about it. It's just an amazing new app, um, iPad app, um, based on the kind of concept of the Electrides, where you can create lots of different grooves on different parts. But it's it's taking it to a whole other level from a sound design perspective, using different waveforms and. Yeah, you just need to go and have a listen. Just another very musical so thing, isn't it? Very Yes, very sounds great. So that's a wrap. That yeah. ends up... Sorry, do you want to... No, I was just going to say, and Tony <coughs> Morgan uh, did some of the voicing for it, I think. Did he really? Tony right. Morgan. Legend, yeah. Tony Horgan. And of course, we mentioned it earlier, but deep dive for the mini-log. Completely yeah. free. Yes. We talked about it earlier, but that, that is a download, out. so get involved. So we're going to play out with a guy that me and Luke met when we did a bit of an in-store dem. Yeah. A guy called Damien, or D. Orman, as he is known. Yeah. Uh, and he's an Electribe player. Goes all over Europe playing with his Electribes. And he featured on Not TV. He did. Which is really cool. <laughs> so he sent us a link. So we're going to we're gonna play out with that. So that's episode 26. Don't forget, you can find me on Twitter, at Adam Korg UK. Find Andy at... Andy Korg UK. Or... Luke at Cog Luke. So there we go. So that's wraps for episode twenty six. Episode twenty five will be coming soon. Special guest, uh, and then we've got a. We we're actually doing like a prequel. You realise that by doing twenty six yeah, first. How exciting! Yeah. Like that. Uh, and then we'll, we'll we should all be in well for time. Do a point five tonight. Bit of an yeah. after hours session. Yes. With me, Luke, and Pete Shaw. Uh, so we'll uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. Don't forget, you can catch us microcast at korg.co.uk if you want to send us an email if you want to be on the show uh, send us an email yeah uh, message on Instagram as well oh yes just Andy, search korg microcast there you go I will respond uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter please do because I think there's a bug in my Twitter <laughs> honestly I've mentioned it before I'm going to mention it again I'm on 970 followers and I can't get above it <laughs> it goes above it 971 and then they drop to 965 978 nine, and it won't go above it so please help that's me get capital. to 1000 followers look at that that's serious that is, yeah. I want me blue tick it's a serious appeal going out yeah so the there we Adam go Whittle. there we go thanks very much and we'll see you next time goodbye bye bye Well, that is all we've got time for tonight, but we're ending the show the only way we know how, and that's with another fantastic set from the brilliant DJ Dioman to give you all of those Friday feels. Have a lovely weekend. Take it away. Thank you.